this is the spectacular view outside the office where I'm sitting right now. And um, I've placed uh, an extruded text object in there. Um, the way I did that actually was um, I, I took this shot yesterday morning um, walking down toward my office. And I used, um, actually, I used Pixel Farm. There's a 3D tracker, Pixel Farm PFO is a standalone 3D tracking product. And you can export that camera data um, to After Effects. And that's what I did. So if you look at these camera and I expose the animated parameters, you see all this uh, keyframing is you know, derived from Pixel Farm's analysis of that my background shot there. And so you basically, you know, once you've done that, well, actually, why don't I show this one gives a better idea of, uh, of the process. So when you import that camera information, what you have is, uh, you know, an animated camera and a bunch of null objects. And these null objects are um, basically points of interest, you know, from the, the, the 3D uh, analysis that uh, the pixel, the, the, the 3D tracker did. So what I did here was I identified, OK, one of the nulls, this one, um, and I said, OK, I want to place my object about there. And so I did that using the technique I showed before of linking the, um, you know, the x, y, and z to the 3D object. And then basically, if I enable this background movie, so now you get that look that uh, I, from what I've heard from Others here had said people have been asking about, I guess, the, the show Fringe does a little bit of integrating of 3D text into a real uh, you know, camera footage. And so that's, uh, this is the way you would do this with 3D objects you know, in After Effects, a workflow for, for doing something like that. Um, I, what you find is once you get the object in here, you, know, you do a little compositing work to actually make it look halfway natural. Um, in this case, I have sort of a metallic material on here. Um, where's my object? And I also, uh, yeah, I added a glow. Um, but the main thing, you know, again, is is lighting. It's it's uh, it's really important. So like these these lights. I think yeah, I even used um, like a bluish color tint to the light um, to sort of make it seem to fit in. A little bit better, and the same with uh, with this one. So if I grab my tracker, you see I can like you know, push my 3D text down the hall. In this case, I actually just used an AE drop shadow, um, but you could probably with a little more work, you could uh, make it make it look a little bit a little bit better. Um, and of course, it's still you know unlike if it was a 3D model from Cinema 4D or something like that. This is a uh, this is still editable as text, you know, right here in um, right here in After Effects. So if I, you know, Smallboro is the town that I'm in right now here in Massachusetts, and you could type continuum, we could um, find the font here. That's continuum logo font. Make it a little smaller. Apply. And so basically, it's that easy to sort of change exactly the uh, what the title is right right here in Adobe After Effects. 